What are all these for? Sorry. For, for ten. <laughs> uh, you can't see that one at all. I know. I'm old. I'm gonna like play the old card you can't though. Can't see it on the pocket with the when light. When you're on. at the restaurant, just be like, <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cutting Corners with Jim and Jake. Today we're talking about how much did that cost? Number two. Second, second episode of how much yeah. did that cost? In this one in particular, we're gonna be talking about how much does our finishing cost in um, the, all three different finishing options that we have, right? Yes. So anno, zinc, and powder. Correct. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, the first thing we want to talk about is why would you why you would use one finish over another. Yeah, pros and cons between the, the three of them, right? With anodizing, one of the big things is, is you can only do it on aluminum, right? So if we're going to go into a steel or stainless stainless steel material, you're not going to be able to select anodizing. On the steel parts, though, you can get zinc plating. It's a great way to get conductive um, additives and stuff to your parts. And so we have a couple of samples of that. I was told to hold more still in these episodes by our wonderful videographer, Keaton. Yeah. Look how still I am. And then... Lastly, we have powder coating. Powder is a great option for all three of those materials. A lot of different materials we have. So I couldn't hold the red one because I'm wearing a red shirt. <laughs> but um, we're getting really good at we this. We have this. So, so yeah, anodizing for aluminum if you want to add corrosion protection. Zinc plating for mild steel yep. uh, if you need conductivity also to prevent corrosion. Uh, or aesthetic, you know, if you like the yellow zinc or black zinc to make your part look a little more finished, that's cool. And then finally, powder coating on just about anything. We'll powder coat stainless, aluminum, mild steel. Yeah, it's a great durable finish. Yep. Adds a lot more, you know, uh, resistance and stuff to the elements. Inexpensive too. Material. So yeah. actually, let's get into the cost. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, okay, so we're gonna talk about these three examples. Yeah. Without any finish, I'm supposed to hold them still again. I know, uh, I'm trying to get out of the way though. I got red in the background. Here we go. For these three examples, the base price for a quantity of one is about the same. They're all about $15. If you wanted to add anodizing to this in a quantity of one, it's about $12. To add zinc plating to this one, again, it's about $12 additional. Yep. And then this one, $9 for powder. You're not supposed to hold that one. You're supposed to hold it against me. You can't this see one? It. Yeah. yeah. Nine, $9, $9 for powder. Um, and the reason why that is, is that some of these have a lot more prep that we have to put into them. Um, there's a lot more room for air that we're kind of building into it. And so each setup is a little bit more invasive. Powder is our easiest setup, yeah. which we can pass that savings on to you because it's easier for us. That's why right? it's a little cheaper. So one thing is if I'm powder coating this, when we go to shoot it, if we see, oh no, there's like an imperfection or a piece of dust got on there, or there's a fish eye or something, you just take compressed air, blow it off, try again. With zinc, you hope for the best. When you put it into the vat yep. and you bring it out of the chemistry, if there's an imperfection, you have to redo the whole thing. So we recut, replate it. Uh, same thing with anodizing. Yep. It's like dyeing an Easter egg. So when you put that Easter egg into the dye, yep. you don't really know how it's going to look until you pull it out. Um, so that's a great example. Yeah. Dyeing Easter eggs. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly that the one. process. Yeah. Um, you know, additionally, the, the tanks that we have to use for these take a lot of maintenance and stuff in the background, right? Yes. So we're, we're having to work on the tanks, whether or not we're actually having anodizing or plating run through. Very them. labor intensive. So yes. all of these require labor for prep. Prep is how you get a good finish. Um, but then with the addition of chemistry and electricity and maintenance, that's why plating and anodizing is a little more expensive than, than powder. Um, so however, with that, yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was going to say in quantity. Yeah, we were going there to the go. same place. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. So with quantity, um, we can take that setup and divide it across your parts, right? Lowering the price of each one, right? So let's, we can kind of talk here okay, I am about your anodizing. It. It's right here on the table because I wrote it down because you know, can't see it. I can't see anything. Um, so in a quantity of 10, these go down to about five bucks each. In a quantity of 100, three bucks each. So it starts to get down to almost nothing. So with the powdered parts right here, um, I have a quantity of 10 actually on the table for this example. It's actually only a $3 add-on to the part per part um, for powder coating. At a quantity of 100, your base for the part is $3 with an add, uh, just a $1 add-on for each of the powder coated yeah. parts. So Wait, in what $1, quantity? 100. A oh. quantity of 100 of these. I have no idea if we're making any money on that. I don't know. But what? <laughs> Whoops. 
Anyway, yeah. order as much as you can. <laughs> That's a really good price. Yeah, it's a it's a really good price. You know, we're also batching you with other customers' orders, right? So we're we're using that um, to our advantage as well. Oh. So that's why we can pass that savings on. But you mentioned batching. Mm -hmm. We do run everything in a batch, meaning your discounts will be applied to the same color, same finish. Exactly. Yep. If you want multiple colors, uh, they will run in different batches, so those quantity discounts will not apply. Yep. Does that make sense? That's yeah. All, that's, yeah, that's, that's perfectly accurate, yep. Yeah, so yeah. if you need, if you need uh, five in gold anno, five in black anno, five in red anno, you won't get a discount for 15. You're gonna get a discount for, for five. five. For five yep. each, yeah. That's it, yeah, we're running off of that. What else? Um, so we can talk about lead time a little bit on these, right? So you're playing a game um, with lead time on these. Yep. Um, five, right now, five to seven days yes. add on. Um, for these, we're always working on trying to make that faster. So if we can make it faster, we can also make it cheaper. So we're, always we're kind usually of check our guidelines um, on our website for our services. That'll tell you the most up-to-date information on our lead in or our lead times on those. Yeah, 56% of the time we're faster than what we estimate, um, especially for anything with finishing services. Yeah. Powder will end up being the fastest for us, um, but yeah, just give yourself a little bit of wiggle room. In a previous episode, we talked about how to get your parts as fast as possible. If you have something, uh, some parts that are raw and no finishing, you may want to split those into a different order so that you get them faster. Uh, you know, you can get that that first. It's free shipping, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, get that first batch into your workshop, um, start working on it, and then your finished parts will come later. The last thing I want to talk about is just internal geometry on your parts. Um, on how much that makes a difference. So we have some blank parts, and then also ones that have you know full cutouts on the inside. How much difference is there? It, zero difference, okay. actually, when it comes to the finishing add-on. So the only time you'll see a price difference between those two is for the cut time that's involved in it, right? And so we yeah. kind of talked about that in previous episodes. I think on the last, uh, how much does it cost? We talked about you know how the cut time affects that but for the finishing aspect, zero. Yeah. So on these parts right here for one, quantity one, it's a $12 add-on for this part, $12 add-on for this part. And the reason being is we're using the same amount of chemistry, uh, you know, instead of, she's saying flip it, Dom's saying do something, you're backwards. What are you saying? Flip this one. We're getting a lot of, a lot of advice off camera. I don't know, I don't know what we're talking about. Uh, I didn't know you wrote anything on these. It's the same amount of chemistry. <laughs> so we don't worry about, you know, is there a savings of a, of a microgram, you know, yeah. chemistry on the internal cut. Yeah. Same thing with powder. We're really shooting the same amount of powder, whether it's a square or whether it has a bunch of uh, geometry cut out of it. Yeah. A lot of that powder is going to end up on the floor. That actually is a really good last point too, is um, thickness of the material doesn't necessarily change no. the, the price for the finish. So on this one right here, I have a 187, or actually I think it's a 125 compared with a 63 thousandths. The anodizing for these. You're supposed to hold it steadier. God, I'm getting yelled at so much on this episode. But yeah, it doesn't, um, doesn't make a difference. Anodizing, same price for these. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's about it. That's it. Uh, if you have any questions or if to get a price on your part, upload your DXF or step file to sendcutsend.com. Um, yeah, get instant pricing. Yeah. Yeah, go check us out. Okay. Thank you. See you. Love, Love you. Bye. bye.